college football, some Pac-12 football. Your view of Kyle Whittingham's team heading into 2018. We had Utah pick second in the Pac-12 South and just outside the top 25. I I don't have a lot of question marks about Utah's defense. I think this group will be one of the better groups in the Pac-12. I I like Tyler Huntley. I think he's going to have a breakout season. The the backfield is one of the best in the Pac-12. This team, if they can navigate that schedule, the door is open. Okay, not bad. A little more volume, too high with your pad. Kyle Whittingham is entering his 14th season as the head football coach at Utah. He's by far the longest tenured coach in the Pac-12. And that stability has made the Utes a regular on top 25 polls. Coach Witt, as a leader, has an insatiable appetite for improvement. He will look at his own methods over and over again to determine whether there's a better way to do it. And that is probably one of the most endearing qualities to me. He's not a me guy. He's never that head coach that's going to be on the, on the front of your media guy. He understands that the program's all about the players. Coach Witt on the field, he's out there to do his job. And he's out there to do one thing, and that's win. Our players are really bought in. And if your players believe in what you're doing, you got a chance. In the last four years, Utah has been to four bowl games and come away with four wins. Moss straight ahead with room to run, and there he goes. Zach Moss off to the races. First down and goal. Huntley keeps it. Tyler Huntley to the end zone for the touchdown. Big win for the Utes. 11-1 and one in bowl games now under Kyle Whittingham. A lot of key players returning next season. A springboard perhaps into 2018 after this victory. But despite their many successes, the Utes have yet to win the Pac-12 championship. Heading into 2018, there is reason for optimism. The Utes' defense is stacked, something that has become a staple of the Whittingham era. I want to see not one person jogging. Everything that I've learned about the defensive part of the game is from Kyle Whittingham. And, and as long as he's here, defense will always be a priority. What this program is, is always a tough program. It's not easy to play the defense that we play. It doesn't make a difference how many stars are attached to your name, and it never has. This program has not been built on stars. It's been built on toughness. We hope that uh, people see a a team that plays hard in all three phases and uh, has a great deal of physicality to it. On offense, the Utes returned last season's game one starting quarterback, Tyler Huntley, a dynamic rusher and improving passer. For Utah to win the South, I think it's Tyler Huntley taking the next step in his development and becomes the all Pac-12 player like we have projected. I think Utah's gonna have a shot to win the South. Tyler is a dynamic player. He's got uh, the ability to beat you, uh, both running the football and throwing it. A great preparer of, for games. He, he studies film, he does all the things that the outstanding quarterbacks that I've ever been around and, you know, do. With Zach Moss and Armand Shine lending support in the backfield, Utah should be in the mix to reach that elusive Pac-12 title game. The Pac-12 championship is something that's eluded us. That is definitely, in our estimation, the next step in our involvement as a program, but uh, a lot of hard work goes into that, and we'll see how, uh, you know, how hungry we are, we are this, this fall and uh, how hard we're willing to work for it. Wait a second, tell baby, let's work! Work on me, work on three, one, two, three! Work. Work. Coming this season on The Drive. We go behind the scenes of every football program in the Pac-12. It's about smashing someone in the face every single play. To tell the most compelling stories of the players and coaches in the Conference of Champions. For the most in-depth access with your team, watch The Drive on Pac-12 Network. The Drive. Shot with Canon EOS cameras and lenses.